Hey, this is Larry Powell with Circle P Marketing. Uh, I just wanted to get this quick video over to you guys outlining what we could do to help your business generate some new leads. Um, so obviously you guys saw my post on residential remodeling subs. Um, one side of our business is we build out lead generation websites um, that are able to generate leads for companies like yours. Um, we're able to pass those leads directly over to you exclusively. Um, and there's a couple of different ways we do that. We either do that um, with a small upfront signing fee or setup fee um, on a commission basis. So for any lead that you close that we send you, it's a um, percentage of off the top. Um, we also do flat monthly fees um, to where you're paying for unlimited leads at a flat monthly rate. Um, the other thing we help businesses with is building out websites for their for their business um, that are branded to their business um, and helping that get ranked and generate leads that way as well. Um, so I'm going to kind of focus on these different things we do today um, and kind of what our process is for getting a website ranked and looking at the competition and what search volumes you guys could expect. Um, and this is kind of a broad overview. There is definitely a lot more out there for search volumes. This is just what I find. Um, in the short amount of time it takes me to, to gather the information for these videos. Um, so first off, I just wanted to show you guys, this is just a website we wrapped up here recently for a roofing company out of Florida. Um, and there's just a couple things I wanted to show you on this site so that you guys know kind of what we're looking for for lead generation sites or for websites for your business um, and how we get these to rank um, and the key components that Google really likes in helping these rank as well. Um, there's also some stuff on here that just kind of helps with your guys' conversions. So once people are getting to your website or to the lead generation site, um, stuff that makes these convert to where they're not just turning or going from clicks, but they're actually turning into customers. Um, so click to call buttons are very important. Um, people are doing mobile search very often these days. So for them to have the ability to do these click to calls um, will definitely help with your conversions. You can see it can make the call right there. Um, so that's definitely going to help with conversions because um, people don't want to have to try to write down that phone number or memorize it to get it into their cell phones. Um, and you can see I have another click to call here. Um, another thing that's going to really help you guys out is content. Um, so Google looks at over 200 different ranking factors when determining which website claims that top spot. And one of the biggest ones that we can influence is the amount of content you have on this homepage. Um, we want to beat our competition out in every way possible. So generally it takes about 1500 to 2000 words of content to do that. Um, sometimes it's more, sometimes you don't need that much, but that's usually a pretty good rule of thumb is about 1500 to 2000 words of content. With that content, you also really want to make sure that you have the search terms you want to be found for um, in that content on that homepage. Um, so that's just kind of what you know you're looking for here. Um, but overall, you know, it doesn't have to be too over the top. You're just looking for something that will rank and convert leads into customers. Um, so looking at the search terms you wanted me to go after, flat roof repair Baltimore was the first one I saw. So this is currently getting a hundred searches per month. Um, and it has relatively low difficulty, so it's not going to take too long to get leads coming in for this whatsoever. Um, definitely a, a faster search term when it comes to um, you know the time span we could get leads coming in for this. Um, so looking at Flat Roof Repair Baltimore, um, we go through and look at what the competition is and what they have going on. Um, first thing you see is the GMB or Google My Business. Um, this is very valuable territory for your business to be in because it's the first thing people are seeing as they get onto Google. Um, there's a couple different factors for how you get your business into this, um, aside from obviously building out your GMB for your business. Um, the next one is what's known as citations. And citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed on the web. Some great citation sources you could find for your business um, would be like your Facebook page. If you list a business name, address, and phone number, um, Yelp pages, Yellow, Yellow Book has like online directories, um, Better Business Bureau. These are all um, citation sources you can get for your business that will increase your likelihood of being in this three pack. Um, we actually have tools we can use to see how many citations your competition has. Um, but then what we'll do is we'll go out there and again, we want to beat our competition out in every way possible. So we will add 50 citations on top of whatever your competition has um, to make sure that we're really claiming that top spot and getting you into that top three. 
Another big factor for how you get your business into this top three is your organic rankings. So where your business sits organically here um, plays a lot of weight as to if you're going to be in this three pack. So as we're looking at the organic rankings here, we don't really include Home Advisor or Yelp in this um, competition just because these guys are in direct competition with Google and their paid ads, um, which there's actually not any paid ads at the top. So this would be a paid ad. Um, so this is people are paying Google to have their business on the front page. Um, so this is, you know, people paying Home Advisor, people paying Yelp for leads. Um, so Google really prefers to rank the smaller business owner over these large national directory sites like this. Um, so I know you're wondering, well, why aren't these people over them? It's because really what they have going on just isn't that great, um, which is great for you guys because it means it's lower competition and going to be easier to get either that lead generation site or your own website ranked above these guys. Um, so looking at flat roof repair Baltimore, um, which is capital roofing or capital coding. Um, so looking at their website, you know, it's pretty basic. I mean, it looks good, but it's really nothing too over the top. Um, you know, there's not a lot of content on here. Definitely doable to pass these guys up in a you know, short amount of time. Um, looking at the back end of their site, this is where it really gets down to the nitty gritty. Uh, so this is what the whole internet is built on. Um, so this is what's known as Ahrefs, Ahrefs. Um, this is a website that allows me to see what's going on at the back end of a website. And what I mean by the back end um, is the whole internet is built upon backlinks. Um, and backlinks is, you know, it's one business linking itself to another business, one website linking itself to another website. Um, and this would be considered like a link right here. So it's all these different websites and business linking themselves to each other. And by linking themselves to each other, it brings up the popularity of those websites um, and makes them look more popular in Google's eyes and brings them up in the search rankings. So for you guys, you'd really want to go after relevant backlinks to flat roofs um, for your business. So if you guys were to get, you know, a backlink from a roofing company out of California, where I'm based out of, that's going to carry a lot more weight than if you guys were to get a backlink from your local pizza hut because you guys aren't slinging pizzas. So you really want to go after the relevancy behind these backlinks, and that's what's going to help you move up in the search results much faster. And again, Flat Roof Repair Baltimore had 100 searches per month. Um, so looking at Baltimore Roof Repair, so a little bit more broad, definitely not just a flat roof, this is getting 200 searches per month. Um, so a lot more search act activity here. Um, looking at you know what's going on here, Charm City Roofing was going to be that first organic. Um, so looking at their website, Again, not too over the top, not a lot of content here. You could definitely beat these guys out with that 1,500 to 2,000 words of content. Um, looking at the back end of their site, you know, metrics aren't that great. They're only getting 424 backlinks from 39 referring domains. Um, so competition is really very low for these guys as well. So having either your lead generation site or your own website in these search terms, you can count on getting about 33% of that search traffic headed towards your business. Um, and then at that point, it comes down to if we can convert those clicks into, you know, customers or people are either calling you or putting in those form submissions. Um, and then it's down to your closing rate. So, you know, there's a lot of options out there as far as if you guys wanted to develop your own website for your business or if you want to do lead generation. Definitely love to explore both of those with you guys. Um, and obviously, if you were to go the lead generation route, we have a couple different options within that also. Um, either a, a, you know, an upfront fee with a percentage basis off the top or a flat monthly fee um, where you're getting unlimited leads. So, you know, definitely love to talk to you guys more. Um, I hope you got something out of this video and uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.